Hi guys, it's Inamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 and I'm going to show you how easily you can root your smartphone and gain administrator privileges on your smartphone but this does void the warranty so neither myself or Samsung take any responsibility for anything that may go wrong during this process but most of the time it does go fine so just to begin what we're going to do is firstly go into menu settings go down to developer options and then just slide the slider right along the top to activate it and put a tick next to USB debugging say OK to the prompt and then go back and just while I'm here I'm going to show you what I'm running I'm running stock Android Jellybean 4.11 as you can see there model number is GT-N7100 and just to show you baseband version is XXALIH as I said stock Android Jellybean 4.1 and just to show you I've got titanium back up here and if I try to go into it it should say that I haven't got root access there you go it says oh, sorry I could not acquire root privileges so that's that we've uh, set USB debugging to be on so we can now power off the device shouldn't take too long at all there on the, the Note 2 and that's now off because it's vibrated to say it's off so what we need to do is press volume down rocker power button and then the home button simultaneously until we get to the download mode so here we go three two one go volume down power and the home button all together there we go we can let go now because we're in download mode gives you a brief warning what you're doing I'm happy to continue it does void the warranty as a state so volume up to continue just bringing that in so you can see it just to confirm it hasn't been rooted custom binary download says no current binary Samsung official system status official so this is still original stock as I said we'll now connect this up to my PC and what we're going to need is the cable that came with the phone so you got the USB 2.0 port there which plugs into the computer as it does there the other side of the cable is a micro USB cable just plug that in to the bottom of your handset you'll notice in the top right of the screen I've got two icons there first one being Odin 3 version 1.85 the link will be in the description of where you can download this from it's free but it is needed to reach your smartphone second one there is called CWM6 hyphen root hyphen n7100 hyphen 121015.ra once you've downloaded it what you need to do is extract it once okay so I'm going to double click and it should open with WinZip as it does here I'm just gonna do one click on zip and get rid of WinZip WinZip shows it me here saying it's been extracted and it's now called CWM6 hyphen root hyphen n7100.tar now the .tar file extension is the one that we need so I'm gonna just ease of use again just move it to my desktop and put it there I'm just gonna get rid of the other one that I downloaded because that one's no longer needed now now once you've got the .tar file on your desktop load up Odin so I'm in Windows 7 I'm gonna right click then go down to run as administrator that should load up Odin as it does there notice a yellow box under ID com port that symbolizes that the phone is connected and Odin is picking up the phone if you don't get the yellow box what you need to do is unplug the phone plug it back in again try a different USB port on the computer if needed try one at the back of the computer if needed if that fails uninstall the USB drivers that you have on your machine and reinstall them again fresh while downloading them from the samsung.com website but if you get the yellow box you're ready to go and notice the options section here what you need to do is leave it stock don't change anything at all but just make sure auto ruby and reset timer ticked everything else is fine move along towards the bottom right of the window here under the file section what you need to do is put a tick next to PDA then hit the PDA button then find the file that we extracted and put on our desktop called the .tar file so I've selected desktop and here it is that CWM file and hit open and it puts a path there as well now we're ready to rock all we need to do is hit start and it's a fairly quick process so there we go and you can see the phone will reboot really quickly saying it's done as well and you can see Odin is going along phones going along pretty quick Odin says it's done it gives me a green pass that's good for me so I can come out of Odin and disconnect from the computer the phone is going through the routing process as you can see but it's now prompting me it's saying ROM may flash stock recovery on boot fix this cannot be undone yes I'm happy with that so I'll go down to yes and then hit the home button to select it now it's going to reboot there again now as well as routing this does install the clockwork mod recovery onto your phone which can be used to back up the entire phone to an SD card it gives you an entire image of the phone exactly what apps you have 
installed, where they installed, what data is installed inside of them, that kind of thing. So you can see it now it says Android is upgrading and that's gone in. I'm going to give it a minute or so, I'll say a minute, a couple of seconds just to settle down. So I'll swipe into that now. As I said, it was preparing the SD card. Power saving mode enabled, bloody blah. Uh, we'll go to apps. And remember, Titanium Backup wouldn't load before. And you can see the Super User app just there. So I'm going to go into Titanium Backup. And this time it should say, there we go, asking for root write, it says there. Now it should manage to get root access. This is the first time, so it may take slightly longer. But there we go. It says asking for root write. I'm going to say grant it. There we go. And it says all done. And it gives me first start message there. So I'm just going to, once that banner goes, click OK to that. And it should come up with a, a log screen. There we go. OK. OK again. So if I just bring that in so you can see it, you can see root access there. It says OK, busy box, and then it gives you the version numbers there. So if it didn't have root access, it would have a red X next to it. But there you go. And that's how easily you can root your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. As I say, the links for the files that you're going to need for this will be in the description of the video. Any questions or comments that you guys have got, hit them up down in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's totally free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.